Welcome to episode 13 of Sitting in Fun slash Strange Places with Jeremiah. Let's talk about figuring out what you believe in and what you stand for in life. When you consider the types of things and the number and the amount of things that you can invest your time in in life, especially while at a younger age, one of the most impactful and useful things can be sitting down and figuring out slowly or over time what it is that you actually believe. Figuring out what it is that you actually stand for, what it is that actually matters to you, and what you're going to make decisions and build progress around. For instance, when you are making decisions and you have to take into account a lot of people's opinions or advice or a lot of different inputs or directions or you have multiple choices to choose between, one of the most useful things that you can use to be able to make that decision and make it in a good way is to be able to compare that decision against something that always will hold true across all your decisions, aka something that you believe in, one of your values. So there are a lot of different things that you can figure out and that you can become clear on in your life and they may change over time but the idea is that if you never even begin to articulate them and work on them and make them obvious to at least yourself, then you will never find a cohesive way of being able to make decisions and you'll bounce around and you won't make any sort of consistent progress in your decision making and you won't be able to explain or rationalize your decisions in, this, in a good and clear way because your example, because your explanations for why you did something will vary based on every single decision you make because you have no foundation. So one of the things that's easy to establish or that is uh, more fundamental to establish in those decisions is what it is that you actually want. So let's take a decision on where you work or for how long you work there or how much of yourself you give to your work at any given time. The only way that you can come to terms and be at peace with where you work and why you work there and why you commit yourself to the work that you do is if you understand why you're doing it if you understand what you want. So if you're working a low paying job somewhere and it's very difficult to survive and everyone is telling you you should be going and you should be working somewhere that has a better paying opportunity, if you're not able to articulate to both yourself and to the people who are pestering you why you're working where you are, it's gonna bother you and it's going to bother the people who care about you as well. But if you've thought about why it is that you're actually working this low paying job in this difficult place to survive, the reason probably being that you really care about what you're learning or where this type of work is going to take you or you really care about what you're actually doing day to day and you don't care about the limited amount of money, if you never have thought that through, then you're not going to be able to articulate it both to yourself and to the people who care about you. Another example, so let's say you're working a job that you absolutely hate but you're being paid a good deal amount of money and you see a purpose in the future in that if you continue to work this job for a set amount of time and you earn and save your money, it can set you free to do the type of work that you actually care about. But if you don't think that through and you don't establish it in your mind, you're going to have days where you flip-flop and where you wonder why you're working where you're working and you're not going to be able to explain to the people who care about you why you're doing what you're doing. So understanding why you're doing the work that you are doing and establishing in your mind the reason that you believe in for why you're doing the work you're doing is one example of something that you can figure out in your life that can serve as a foundation for making decisions. Another thing that you can figure out in life is what matters to you as far as security goes, what matters to you as far as learning new things goes, what matters to you as far as impact goes. So what you'll find as you go throughout life is that everybody has a different idea of what matters to them in life. Some people care about security, about being stable, about being safe. Other people care about growing, other people care about experiencing, and about being a little bit more on the risky side of their decisions and the things they do in life. And I'm not talking strictly about base jumping and skydiving and all those things. I'm talking about the person who uh, moves to another country to volunteer at a nonprofit in order to understand what it means to work in a country completely different from their own. That is a very insecure, unstable, uh, lack of 
job security and safety and comfort type of decision to make. But if it aligns with your decision that you are the type of person who wants to go out and grow and learn and experience at the risk of encountering difficulty, then suddenly making that decision becomes much more secure. It becomes much more real and less of a loose cannon. The reason why it's important to come to terms with these things is that if you truly wrestle with these decisions and come up with the things that you truly believe are foundational and core to who you are, then no matter how difficult the decision is to make, you can be confident in the decision because you understand that it's rooted in aspects of who you truly are. But first you have to invest the time to figure out what those core and foundational things are. And this is by no means an overnight process. This is a trial and error framework that you build by going out and making decisions and experiencing both sides of the coin in order to understand where you sit and where you want to be. So I highly encourage you to begin to try to understand who you are, who you think you are, who you want to be, and what matters to you in order to start establishing a foundation for moving forward.